Meanwhile, up the road in Las Cruces, New Mexico State improved to three and three, one and one in Conference USA action last night with a 34 to 17 win over FIU. The next three games are all winnable for the Aggies as NMSU looks for bowl eligibility once again. Since they're playing a 13 game schedule this year, though, the Aggies must win seven games in 2023 instead of the normal six games for bowl eligibility. The Aggies big win came thanks in large part to a large, uh, strong performance by quarterback Diego Pavia, who threw for over 250 yards and accounted for three total touchdowns and that performance by Pavia came as he's been embroiled in controversy the last week. A video that made the social media rounds appears to show Pavia urinating on the University of New Mexico's practice field. Pavia did not speak to the media last night, but NMSU head coach Jerry Kill and the Aggies players said that Pavia has shown accountability and remorse for his actions. Believe me, uh, we handled things internally and there's nobody in this room or anybody else would want to have to do what he has to do. He's taken that with uh, very good maturity and he didn't have to, so you gotta give the kid credit. Diego is a good guy. He just did something that wasn't him at that time. So he came back, he apologized to the team and we all accepted it. It's unclear when NMSU may make Pavia available to the media again, but it's good to hear that he has taken accountability. He'll look to lead the Aggies to another win next Wednesday at home versus Sam Houston.